Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a full face of dupe. So it has been almost a year, I can't believe it, but it's been almost a year since my last dupes video. So it's long overdue. It's time for an updated version. I have so many great products here, lots of my holy grails, lots of popular makeup. So basically what I'm gonna do is half of my makeup is gonna be all drugstore and affordable products, and then the other side is gonna be all high-end products. I'm gonna do a wear test and we're gonna see how these look after a full day. I love to splurge, I love to treat myself, but I love a good dupe just as much. I hope you guys enjoy, grab a snack, get cozy, grab your makeup, and let's get into it and play with some affordable dupes. So I already primed my lids, did my brows, kinda got the boring stuff out of the way because we are doing eyeshadow first, of course, like always. So for the high-end eyeshadow palette, I have the Sipping Pretty palette from Kylie Cosmetics. This palette was from her birthday collection that she did, I think it was like a year or two ago, but I found this at Ulta a little while back and I've played with a couple of the shades and swatched some of the colors and they're really pretty so we're gonna use this today on the high-end side and then on the drugstore slash affordable side it's gonna be my right which is your left and I'm gonna be using the birthday blast palette from C color cosmetics I want to thank C color cosmetics for sponsoring this portion of today's video I'm gonna use this palette and then two other palettes that are dupes for high-end products they have amazing dupes on their website I've tried them before I've used their eyeshadows in other dupes videos and they have amazing dupes for the price so I will leave their website link down below if you guys want to check them out but this is what their palette looks like I have used also a couple of the shades in here as well so side by side this is what they look like so they both come with mirrors which I love there isn't really a huge difference a couple of the colors in here I feel like tone wise they're a little bit lighter than the Kylie Cosmetics one but like pigmentation quality is super on point so let's start off with the high-end palette I'm gonna be using this shade right here and just applying that right in my crease I'm probably gonna add this one as well and I am gonna be using different brushes on each eye of course the only thing is like for some of my brushes I do have doubles of them because whenever I love something I usually get backups of it so the brushes might look the same but they're different brushes like for instance this brush I have like three of them I have another one right here also if I do use the same brush on both sides I am gonna be spot cleaning them in between just so that nothing gets cross-contaminated then going into the C color cosmetics birthday blast palette I'm gonna use this color and this color in the crease All right, in the C Color Cosmetics palette, I am gonna jump into some of these like deeper, like chocolate red browns, which I love. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of this color and a little bit of this color. And I'm just gonna start working that right on the outer crease. Not like 100% sure what I wanna do today, but definitely something really smoky. Taking a little bit more of this richer shade, I'm just gonna be applying that in packing motions it's not gonna be perfect but we're gonna blend it out super easy formula to work with by the way if you've never tried C color cosmetics I've used many of their eyeshadow palettes in previous dupes videos and just like in general I love them I think the quality is super on point on this side I'm gonna again use these same kind of like rich red brown and use a different brush on there and i'm just gonna take that and i'm gonna start kind of working that on the outer crease let me know down below what you guys splurge on when it comes to high-end makeup for me the one thing that i do not like to splurge on with high-end makeup are lip liners and probably eyeliners and lashes eyeliners as in like waterline liners and then definitely lashes because I feel like there's so many really great lashes at the drugstore that are super affordable. I've tried a couple high-end lashes like Lily Lashes, Huda Beauty, but I mean like they're pretty but I'm never like to the point where I'm constantly repurchasing. Something I do like to splurge on and test out a lot are foundations. I love complexion so that's like probably my thing that I will splurge on and probably primers too. But even like now there's so many good drugstore primers. Now for the fun part I'm going to do a shimmer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the bronze color and then I'm going to add a little bit of this really light kind of neutral cream champagne because from my experience this gold color is a little bit more light and like bright whereas the one in the C color cosmetics is a little bit more like bronze like and darker so I want to try to kind of make both of them look really similar and light so I'm gonna start off with this and then I'm gonna add this one I'm gonna dip my brush and I am gonna spray because I do that with all of my shadows high-end drugstore I feel like it just really makes them pop 
So I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna pack it on. I'm gonna use my finger, kind of mesh the colors together a little bit better. Again, with this eye, I'm gonna take this bronzy gold. I'm gonna mix a little bit of this shade up here. So I'm gonna use my e.l.f. eye tapes, which are my favorites, because I'm gonna do some smoky liner shadow. I'm gonna use a little bit of the black color here, and I'm probably gonna mix it also with the shade. And I'm gonna just kinda do almost like a wing, but with the shadow. I really don't know what's happening here. It's like no matter what I do, it's just not really blending properly, but okay, let's move on. I'm gonna use the Birthday Blast palette again on this side. I'm gonna use these two colors, the black and the chocolate brown. Just adding a little bit more of that bronzy color back because I feel like I blended some of it away with adding like the black and the brown so I'm just kind of emphasizing that a little bit more and doing the same thing on the other side as well all right so I tried my best to make both of them look like even as far as like the wings the smokiness so hopefully it looks okay I think from my end it looks pretty good so that's the high end side and that is the other side now for mascara, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Milk Kush Fiber Mascara on the high-end side, which is actually one of my favorite mascaras. It's super volumizing, but this does transfer. If you put it on your lower lashes, I found that it doesn't last, like if it's super hot outside or you're like crying or something, it's definitely not going to last. I mean, it's not a waterproof mascara, but it does transfer throughout the day. But I do like it though, because it does add volume to my baby lashes. Like you can actually see the mascara on them. For the dupe, I have the ColourPop BFF Volume Mascara, and this one's just in the shade Black on Black, which is their black mascara. I actually need to get a new one. This one is pretty crusty because I use it all the time, but this mascara is amazing. It gives me that volume that I love. It doesn't transfer on my foundation throughout the day, and it's really good for the lower lashes as well. I am gonna go in with lashes today. I don't have any high-end lashes to compare, but I'm gonna keep it drugstore today. But I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. faux mink lashes in the style Drama Queen that I have been so obsessed with. Literally been talking about these in every single video for the past month. Let me put the glue on these and we're gonna do winged liner while the glue dries. I almost forgot. For the high-end side, the It Cosmetics Superhero Liner. This is one of those felt tip like pen liners, which I really like. I think that they are really easy to work with. So I'm gonna just do my wings with this. Basically gonna follow kind of what I did with the eyeshadow and I'm actually just gonna do a line because I feel like the wing is pretty emphasized with the eyeshadow right here. So I'm essentially just gonna kind of do the line and then I'm gonna go back in in a little. I'm gonna smudge this out a little bit more to get more smokiness in there. So for the dupe, I have the NYX Epic Ink Liner, which I love. This one is just in the shade of black. It's honestly pretty much the same thing. It has like that pen. It's really easy to work with. And then I'm gonna go back into the black in the C Color Cosmetics palette right here. And then in the Kylie Cosmetics palette, I'm gonna take the black on this side as well. Kind of just running that black shadow right where I just did the liner, just to again emphasize that, make it a little bit smokier. Love, 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 love. And then of course, like I said, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye as well. All right, and I'm just gonna pop on the lashes. So here is what the completed eyes look like. Of course, we're gonna do the lower lashes and inner corners once we're all done with the face makeup, but honestly, there is not much of a difference. And now we are officially moving into the face, which I'm really excited about because 
complexion is my favorite. So I'm gonna start off with a primer oil because I feel like my skin kind of needs just a little boost today. So for the high-end side, I'm gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. I'm gonna drop a little bit of this. I just put about one drop because we're only doing half of the face. I love using a primer oil also, especially if I'm using a matte foundation. It just makes it go on super smooth and it feels less heavy when you use a primer oil and you're using that matte foundation. So I have combo skin, so I feel like I can get away with using stuff like this and it's not too overwhelming. And this primer oil is nice because it's not too much. For the drugstore side, I have the NYX Hydra Touch Oil Primer. I've used this a couple of times. I haven't used it in a while, so. The dropper on this is really nice too. A lot of droppers really aren't that great, but this one's nice. And it smells really nice too. Honestly, both of them side by side, like there isn't really much of a difference. They both feel really hydrating. These are also good to mix in with foundations as well if they ever are a little bit too thick or you feel like they're too cakey. Those are actually good. And they're super lightweight. A little bit goes a long way. You see, I just used one drop on each side and it looks really good. Now for an actual primer. Sometimes I'll just use primer oil and then I'll use something to fill in my pores, but today I wanna put these two to the test. So I have the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. There's several dupes for this, but this is a newer dupe that I have that is absolutely amazing and it's spot on. So this I really like. A lot of people actually don't like this primer. You guys have told me that this either breaks you out or that it balls up on your skin and you're just not a fan of it. I have had it ball up on my skin a couple of times with certain primers a couple of times. I don't know why that happens to be honest. Maybe there's like an ingredient in it or whatever, but it's never broken me out and I like it because it really does make your makeup last all day. It has like a tacky finish, so it, it feels good. I like it. I recently just discovered this dupe. This is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. Even like the way that this squeezes out, it's like identical. And don't mind my crusty nails. I use these new ones. I don't know how I feel about them. There's like glue on them and they're a mess, but Yeah, this is literally the same exact thing. If anything, this one's a little bit more hydrating than the milk one. And the tacky finish is great, obviously, because it's gonna prolong your makeup. So I love these for summer. I think that they're amazing. Now for foundation. I'm really excited about this dupe. I've never tested them out side by side. They're one of my favorite foundations, like drugstore and high end. So I'm curious to see how they're gonna look. So this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. Mine's in the shade 240. I love this foundation. It's great for summer, lasts all day it's a nice dewy finish but it's not too much I'm gonna just do like about that much and I'm gonna use the elf total face sponge I have two of them this one is from like their newer retro paradise collection that just launched and this one's just their original one they're the same exact thing just different color and I'm just gonna blend that in this foundation also has really good coverage which I always look for with my foundations because I am like a full coverage kind of girl. It's just so pretty on the skin. And I'm not really breaking out too much, so I'm not gonna use a lot of foundation today. Even though to some people that was probably a lot, but to me, that's a little bit. Drag it a little bit down my neck, but this color is like so on point. Do you just see how that like transformed my skin? It's amazing. Now, get ready. We have a good dupe here. NYX Born to Glow. This one's in the shade Medium Olive. This is another go-to classic foundation. Basically, the claims on this are very similar. It's a naturally radiant foundation with amazing coverage, which is essentially what the Fenty one is. And I'm gonna use the other sponge. I think even the colors are like really similar. They have like that olivey kind of yellow undertone, which I love. Okay, so here we have the NYX side. And here we have the Fenty side. I think the NYX side might be like a little bit more dewy, like slightly, but honestly, looking at them like side by side, there isn't a huge comparison. Like they both look really similar. Great coverage, dewy finish. Wow. Now for concealer, for the high-end concealer, I have the Kylie Cosmetics Skin Concealer. This one I have in the shade Ivory. I'm gonna do about that much. And I'm gonna do a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit there. All right. I like this concealer. I think it's pretty, but 
I think the dupe is one of those things where it's like the same exact thing. And there's, I feel like a lot of dupes for this concealer. This color is like a little too light. So I'm gonna kind of blend out with the other side of the sponge too, so that it hopefully all meshes together. I think with powder and everything, it should work. On the drugstore slash affordable side, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. This one I love, it's in the shade Light 50W. I think I actually like this color a little bit more than the one from Kylie Cosmetics. All right, this one's also pretty light. Sometimes I will mix in this one with 90W. But for today, I'm just gonna keep it like this because this is so light, I wanna balance it all out make it look even. This is one of those dupes where definitely go get the ColourPop one because there is not a difference like at all. Okay, now I'm gonna set my under eyes and like my T-zone and I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder on the high end side. And then for the dupe, I'm really excited about this. I have the e.l.f. Matte Setting Powder. This comes in several different shades. I'm gonna use the shade light today. This is my favorite way to apply the powder. It's just using the same sponge. And I'm just gonna put this on my T-zone. I actually really like this powder and I'm so late to the party because this has been a favorite of everyone's. I feel like for the past like what, four, three years at least, I just started using it probably like maybe a month or two ago and I really like it. It doesn't have any flash. I can see why a lot of people really love it. It's definitely become a favorite. But this matte powder from e.l.f. is amazing. If you guys are familiar with their Halo Glow, same exact kind of concept, the finish is just different, but it's a really comfortable matte powder. There's also no white cast with this powder. Okay, I know one side looks a little bit brighter because of that concealer, but that's fine. I love this powder. It is so smooth, it's just, I don't have to touch up as much whenever I use it. It really is amazing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my makeup with another powder just to be a little extra because we got some full coverage glam going on here. And this is a dupe that I've heard a lot of people talking about and I wanted to kind of test it out myself. So for the high-end powder, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I have this one in the shade One Fair. And I'm just gonna press this in specifically where I have like larger pores and then with any excess powder, I will also just take this and set the rest of my makeup. You don't realize how many nose hairs you have until you get powder in your nose. For the dupe, I have the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Translucent Finishing Powder in the shade Light. Side by side, this is what they look like. I'm gonna use a different powder brush. I have used this powder, by the way. I just never used them kind of like side by side. So I'm gonna set my brows now. I'm gonna use the Glossier Boy Brow on the high-end side, which I really like in the shade Black. This has a good amount of color to it as well, and it keeps your brows in place without giving you that hairspray brow look. And then for the drugstore side, I have the e.l.f. Brow Wow in the shade Black. The brush on this one is a little bit bigger, but honestly, I was like using both of these the other day and I'm like, is there really much of a difference? Not really. The Glossier one has a little bit more pigment, but for the price of the e.l.f. one, you cannot go wrong. Okay, I'm gonna do my lower lashes really quick. So jumping into the Birthday Blast palette from C Color Cosmetics, I'm gonna use these two shades right here and I'm gonna smudge those out. I'm gonna take a little bit of the black as well with that same brush. This brush is from e.l.f. by the way. And I'm gonna kind of put that right on the outer part, connecting it with the top. Oh, I almost used that palette for the other eye as well. All right, let's switch brushes and do the same thing. So again, I'm gonna take these two colors and a little bit of the black. And then I'm gonna do this shade right here for the inner corner highlight. I'm also gonna put that on the brow bone. Woo. And then same thing with the other palette from Kylie Cosmetics. Ooh, I forgot waterline liner. No! It'll flake right off once you let it dry. Don't 
touch it when it's wet because it's gonna smudge everywhere. It's gonna be a hot mess. For the high-end side, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in the shade Alkaline. I think I used this before in another dupes, but I don't really buy high-end eyeliners, to be honest with you. Then for the drugstore side, this is from ColourPop. It's their BFF Cream Gel Liner in the shade Charmer. Now for the cheeks, I'm gonna start off with the Natural Face Palette from Too Faced. I actually tried this out before. It was in a BoxyCharm last year. I ended up donating it because I didn't use it that much and then I got it again because I wanted to test it out for this video, but this is what it looks like. It's a cute palette, but honestly, the dupe is just as good, if not even better. I'm gonna use this color right here just to bronze my cheeks. I'm actually gonna mix it with this shade here, which is Tropic Like It's Hot. I'm just gonna stipple that in. This is a powder brush from Profusion. Doing the nose is gonna be a little challenging, but we're gonna just do one side with this. I'm also gonna use the blush in here and I'm gonna use these two colors. I'm just gonna do a little bit just like that. Just for a nice little flush on the cheeks. A little bit on the nose. Now for the dupe, we have the C Color Cosmetics Natural Face Palette. This is so cute. I've actually used this before. And this is what this one looks like. So honestly, the only difference is the packaging. But when you look at both of them, like the colors are pretty much spot on. The formula of this is really nice as well. I'm gonna use a different brush do the other side of the nose. All right, we have another palette dupe. So this is the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette, another palette that I once had, got rid of it, and then I got it again. So this one is the Pink Sands Edition 1, which looks like this. this is like a fresh one. I like got this just for this video. So for this palette, I'm gonna use these two colors just to go with the, wait, is this a cream? No, just kidding, I'm not gonna use that. This is a cream product. I'm just gonna use this color and a little bit of the pink just to match with the bronziness that we have going on. Bit on the chin on this side and a little bit above the lip and then for the other side I have the C color cosmetics heaven highlight kit I've tried their darker version of this which is really pretty as well and I'm just gonna use these two I love how this one comes with a mirror the tones might be a little bit different but similar kind of vibe so I'm just gonna do this gorgeous So I'm gonna set my makeup for the high-end side. I'm gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Setting Spray, which is one of my favorite Holy Grail setting sprays. I have like a little tiny bit left, but this is like life-proof setting spray, I always say. It's so good. So I'm gonna use this just to set my makeup. Look at my shirt right now. And then for the drugstore one, I'm gonna use the Milani Make It Last. I know I've used this before, but this is truly the best drugstore setting spray I've ever put on my face. It's so good. Last but not least, I'm going to go in with lips. So I have a lip liner here from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Lip Cheat Iconic Nude Lip Liner. And I'm just going to use this to line this side of my lips. I'm probably going to fill them in as well because I don't have a lipstick. So I'm just going to line, fill them in, and then go over top of the gloss. Okay, so then for the dupe, I have the NYX, so I look so funny with just one, one side, okay. NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. This one is in the shade Sandstorm. You guys, these are everything. They're $4, like. The color is a little bit lighter, but. And the Charlotte Tilbury one is a little bit like slightly creamier, but honestly, I love the NYX ones. I have so many different colors in these. They're so good. Okay, I'm just gonna use a gloss today. Usually I would use a lipstick or something, but let's just stick with gloss. So for the high-end one, I have the Fenty Gloss Bomb. This one's in Fenty Glow, which is their original. I love these. They're so good. They smell amazing. Okay, now for the dupe, I have the ColourPop Luxe Gloss. This one's in Come Through. This is what they look like in the packaging. You can just see they are very similar. This is the closest dupe that I have found to Fenty Gloss Bomb. I've talked about a couple other ones before, but this is like the one that I feel like is the most spot on. Even like color, like formula, the way that it smells, it's a little similar too. It's gonna give you that wet, juicy look, but it's not sticky. 
So this is the completed look. I am so happy with these dupes. Like definitely check these out. They are worth trying, especially the C Color Cosmetics dupes. I think they are so on point, you guys. Like I am living for this look and I don't really feel like there's a huge difference. I know that there's a couple differences as far as like the tones, like the lip liner's a little bit darker. The eyeshadows might look, I think a little bit different, but not really, honestly. The concealer on the high end side is a little bit lighter. A couple differences as far as like tones and stuff, but when it comes down to the form the way they apply the blendability I think everything is on point also the coverage like and the big difference that I see on both sides of my face is the price to be honest so here's the price of the drugstore side and then here's the price of the high-end version so you can just see huge price difference but I think this look turned out really pretty it's very sultry perfect for a date night the foundations and concealers are amazing the colors again might be a little off but like I'm gonna wear this throughout the day and I will come back in and check in with you guys and let you know how everything looks I'll probably insert that little voiceover segment like right now so it is 7 23 this day when I filmed it I was wearing this makeup for probably almost 12 hours and this is what everything is looking like you can see everything is pretty much still in place eyeshadow concealer powder bronzer highlighter there really isn't a huge difference between the two other than the fact that one side of my face is a little bit lighter from the concealer that I used earlier but I feel like in natural light you can't really tell the difference so I'm impressed with these dupes definitely check them out I think they're worth trying but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments if you can tell a difference let me know so yeah, that is officially it for this dupes video. Let me know what you guys think. And if you have any other dupes that you want me to test out or feature in upcoming videos, leave them down below as well. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.